RT is a Russian news network paid for by the Kremlin. We visited RT's Moscow studios today, where the main story was that Facebook had temporarily blocked the network's page. But RT was already in the news, with the U.S. intelligence report on Russian hacking calling it part of a Kremlin-directed campaign to undermine faith in the U.S. government and fuel political protest. RT's director, Margarita Simonyan, dismissed that report and doubled down on her criticism of America. In your own words, the U.S. lacks democracy and has no moral right to teach the world. What was that all about? The U.S. has made a lot of mistakes, a lot of mistakes all over the world. Look at Iraq, the country that makes such mistakes do not have the moral right to teach the world. And that's just the, the tip of the iceberg. A dark view of a dysfunctional America runs through Artie's content, from its broadcasts to its websites to its sister news agency, Sputnik. Just listen to this op-ed today in Sputnik. America, again, America is, in, is in decay, is in complete decay. Its institutions are crumbling, uh, its media are discredited, and uh, it goes on and on and on. Andrei Kovalyov used to work for the state news service and is now with the independent paper, the Moscow Times. The Kremlin's goal, he says, is clear. Uh, kind of bring down the, the West to the same level with Russia and uh, your press isn't free, your politicians are all liars and crooks. Like, like they, ours are. Yeah. If the propaganda works, Russians, especially young ones, will lose faith in democracy and stop agitating for political change here. And young Americans will simply lose faith in their own country.